Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you guys for being here with me today. I was going to do some daily guidance. Let me go ahead and clear this space here. And then we will pull the three cards. All right, Spirit. This is for the collective place spirit. Okay, let me make sure you guys are seeing this. We have card one. We have card two. And we have card three. All right. Hopefully you guys can see it. We will talk about the cards and once we're done, we will pull some magical unicorn cards. I'll go ahead and get them out of the box. Okay. All right, if you have chose card one. Wow, okay. So you have received the victory card, okay? This, as you can see, it almost looks like a bully, okay? But you are going to be victorious in something, card one. Um, don't kick a horse while it's down, kind of energy with this card um we have to forgive so there is some kind of situation in your life that you have i feel your integrity your morals how you've handled yourself okay um led you to this victory but however i feel like some sort of stress or burdens of some sort has put you at your last straw, has put you on the edge, okay? Um, she's actually on a teddy bear, okay? And like I said, it's kind of kicking a horse when it's down. You've done one, okay? So, no need to keep it going. You need to just walk away from something because you have won victoriously, okay? All right. Card two. All right. We have the... Um, I will have to look at this actual number here. Let me look and see what this card is called. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, this is Vigilance, okay? This is... All uh, right, so... You may be isolating yourself, card two. You are definitely thinking of something. This is you creating something or winning something or having new ideas and needing to keep it to yourself. Don't share it to others. You may have been through something that you don't know who to trust at this point. OK, um, you're figuring out who to trust, who not to trust. Um, I feel like you're letting your past predict a little of your future with this. OK, um, however, if you are creating something, um, keep that to yourself. OK, maybe. Right now is the time to work alone 
instead of with someone, definitely, uh, instead of um, collaborating with someone because I'm getting full body confirmation on that. Um, I am getting for someone, I'm channeling Tom and Pete for some reason. Okay. Um, Melissa as well. All right, let's go on to card three. Okay, we have the um, let me make sure I know what this card is called. This is number six here. Okay. <clears throat> Let me make sure. Hold on a second. All right. This card is called, oh, okay. This is the innocence. Okay. Um, this card here, this is giving people the benefit of the doubt. This is coming from a place of non-judgment. This is coming from um, card, for, card three. This is, um, see, I feel like cat's got your tongue. Um, maybe you're wanting to interrupt people. Maybe you're wanting to throw judgment at someone, okay? Um, this is definitely about giving someone the benefit of the doubt. Um, Someone's wanting to earn your trust here, um, I'm feeling. So this could very well be, I'm seeing how vulnerable she looks, okay? She's naked with this fish in front of her um, and fishes with money and especially the Lenormand. So I am picking up that this could be a work situation, um, but you guys, um, or maybe someone's wanting to borrow money or um, maybe you're wanting to invest something, but you're undecided on whether or not to. OK, card three. Um, I say it's a go. All right. Um, I do see that you are a little skittish about whatever this decision is, but. I feel like you need to give whoever or whatever situation this is the benefit of the doubt, okay? Now, reading these all together, I am seeing as a collective here that someone may be reaching out to the collective and um, feeling that when they reach out to you, you are not going to, um, you just don't know if you can trust this person or not, okay? This may be someone that has done you wrong in the past, whether it be work, family, romantic. Um, it could be any situation, friendship. Um, but as a collective, that is definitely what is going on here. Um, trust your intuition because I do Feel that your intuition is spot on and it is heightened at this time. Uh, for a lot of you guys, I feel like you have manifested whatever this is, okay? I opened up right to simplicity. I feel like for the collective, you're making something harder on you than what it truly is, okay? All right, so let's see. For the collective, what do they need to hear with these? I need three cards. And one. Okay. Okay, on the bottom, 
the general energy is pets and it says you're or you love and understand animals. OK, so right now you may be getting a new pet. You may be connecting with your pets. You may um, notice that you are drawn to more animals recently or animals are more drawn to you. OK, now the first card we have, it says, let go of stress. Don't take on other people's stress. Breathe it out now. OK, so that definitely is going with this. OK, don't um, just let something go. Just let it go. Let karma kick in if someone has done you wrong. OK, next card we had was love heals fear. The power of your love can help bullies and angry people to be less afraid. Wow, you guys. This is definitely about you feeling bullied today in some situation. Or you feeling as if you have to make a decision because of how you're feeling about some type of situation. Or how someone else has made you feel. Okay, y'all? All right, the next card is wish upon a star. Make a wish and expect the very best, okay? So this is clearly saying that you are victorious, collective, okay? You have won uh, or something has come to fruition or something is fixing to. Put your wish out there into the universe and let it come back to you, okay? All right, the last card we got was talk about your feelings. Tell a friend how you feel. All right, I am picking up that this has a lot to do about with a friend. I also am picking up that this was a romantic situation at some point for someone. And you guys are going to decide to step back from the romance and maybe just be friends. OK. Um, whether it be mutual or um, I'm picking up that on for someone that someone is going to come to you and decide that they want to just be friends with you and you want more. You're not. But you can't beat them and make them want you in a romantic way when they're not ready. OK, because I feel like if I am talking to you and this happens to you, know that you've got something better coming with this wish. OK. All right, folks, I hope I've said something to help you today. Um, if so, hashtag resonate. Everybody, please thumbs, put a thumbs up for me and all the YouTube stuff, like, share, comment. Um. I really appreciate it. Love one another, okay? Love each other. Let's be kind to one another. And I will see you guys after a while on a live, okay? Bye, y'all.